it's my glam chow chow cha. Today we're going to review tayo ng bagong product. Bago para sa akin. Um, this one is the Fashion 21 BB Cream Plus Concealer. But before we hop onto the video, um, just a disclaimer. Sorry po sa mga background noises na maririnig nyo dahil as you know, I'm a cat mom. So, madaming puso po sa paligid. Baka marinig nyo lang throughout the video. So, here's the product. I believe meron siyang three shades. I got the shade number two. And I believe this is the second to the darkest. Kasi medyo dark yung concealer na kasama niya kaysa dun sa BB cream. So, tignan natin kung may claim ang product. It says here, the total face coverage you'll ever need. Mm, big claim yun. The BB cream and concealer can be applied separately or used together to achieve a blemish-free look. Listed din yung ingredients niya. It's made in Taiwan. Yeah, it comes with SPF 30++. I have a very oily skin so hindi ako mahilig mag BB cream but let's just give this a go. Prime my face using the Pure Minerals Color Correcting Primer. This primer hindi naman siya nag affect ng pag control ng oils sa face pero it helps with the longevity of the makeup by the way i chose to wear this with a primer because with my oily skin alam ko na mag <laughs> mag accumulate yung oils ko and you know um for the longevity ganyan so i have my primer on let's proceed now with the BB cream application. Squeeze out tube siya. Screw lid. Here's the product. Hindi siya nag-run. Medyo thick din yung formula niya. So, I'm just gonna dot this on the right side of my face. And gagamit ako ng sponge. Right off the bat, nakikita ko may mga specks of glitters. Hindi siya glitters eh. Para siyang sparkle na maliliit. Sobrang maliliit. The shade seems to be blending out with my skin tone. So, yan yung one layer of BB cream on my uh, right side against dun sa wala pang product. Medyo natakpan niya yung blemishes ko there. It definitely um, evened out the skin tone. Yung finish niya hindi sobrang dewy which I like. Dahil alam niyo na ang dewy sa oily skin medyo panganib. <laughs> medyo nababother lang ako kasi merong mga tiny specks of glitters which I'm pretty sure hindi niyo nakikita sa camera but in person meron. Now, let's apply it to the left side of my face using a brush. And again, I'm just gonna dot it all over. So, the brush that I'm going to use is from Eco Tools. Actually, bronzer brush to, pero ginagamit ko for base or foundation. So, it's blending out pretty nicely on the skin. So, ginamit ko yung brush, parang hindi lumabas yung mga glitters. Weird. Hindi lang halata pag um, brush yung ginamit, pero meron. Up close, nakikita ko sila. Pero, from afar, um, using this, um, ang tawag ito? Brush, hindi masyado ang halata. So, yan yung finish ng BB cream pag brush yung ginamit. Medyo matcha. And napansin ko na mas maganda yung coverage uh, kapag brush yung ginamit kesa yung um, sponge. Yung scent wala akong masyadong maamoy. Konting-konti lang na medyo makeup, makeup scent. Pero pag hindi nyo inamoy na talaga ilalapit sa nose nyo, hindi nyo mapapansin. Next, let's try the concealer. So ito yung itsura niya konting product lang siya. Let's see kung how much you get. By the way, yung BB cream has 20 grams of product and then the concealer has uh, 5.5 grams. So, let's try to conceal my blemishes over here and also my scarring here and then some of the redness. So, again, using my beauty blender to blend it. 
active breakouts ko na nandyan, hindi niya totally na-cover. Pero yung mga acne scarring ko, yung mga medyo ano na, um, nag-fade na na scarring, na-cover naman niya. Also, the redness over here. Nandito naman sa kabila, mga scarring lang. And then also, I have veinings over here. Takpan na rin natin yung discoloration ko malapit sa mouth and over here. Now, I'm going to use the brush naman to blend it. Easy to blend din yung concealer. Mas maganda yung coverage talaga pag brush. Alright, so first impression, gusto ko yung application niya. Um, madali siyang i-blend sa skin. Maganda din yung finish niya, hindi siya dewy. And yung coverage niya, very nice din. Although hindi full full coverage, pero um, if you want, you can layer it on. Pero for me, hindi ako nag-layer ng mga foundation niya. I just have it as is. Kung hindi niya ma-cover, okay lang. Pero pag na-cover niya, then Diba? Thumbs up. Here's the right side of my face. Na, Nag-apply ako with a sponge. Then here's the left side with a brush. Just going to apply the rest of my makeup. And then I'll be right back for my first um, check-in. It's now 3.39 in the afternoon. Medyo late na. Pero late din naman akong matulog. So... I guess this update is going to be until the end of the night. I have now my makeup on. Everything worked perfectly naman on top of the BB cream. Hindi siya naging cakey or uh, blotchy, <laughs> whatever you call it. Pero yung part na to, syempre merong breakouts dyan. So, para siyang hindi even tignan. Hindi rin ako nag-apply ng anything na may sparkle or na may sheen or shimmer. Para pag nag-update ako and meron kayong nakikitang shine, yun na yung oil ko. Natural oil, by the way. Now, let's test the flash photography. Parang muto doon na. Alright, so it's now quarter to six in the evening and this is how it looks after two hours. So definitely, yung T-zone ko parang nag-accumulate na ng oil. Nakita nyo ba yan? So yun, ito. Pero hindi pa naman sobra so kaya pang hindi mag-blot. Anyways, tinanggal ko yung camera sa tripod para makita nyo yung mga iba-ibang angulo. So yan. Yung ito, definitely medyo nagdudui na siya. And also, I've noticed yung gilid nung nose ko, nag-crease na this one. Ayun o, oh, nakikita nyo yun. But all foundation um, does that, pero ito medyo mabilis. Usually, at the end of the day, meron ako nyan. And also, ito, Ayan o. Oh. Yung nilagyan natin sa discoloration ko sa side ng mouth, meron na rin. Okay guys, so it's now quarter to 8 in the evening and this is how my skin looks. As you can see, oily na. Especially my cheeks, nose, forehead area, parang hindi pa. Pero itong on top of my eyebrows, medyo oily. Paano ko ba napakita? Ayan. Basta ito. Hindi pa ako nakakapag-blot or touch up or anything like that. I forgot pala to mention kanina. It says here sa harap ng box. With a lightweight formula that covers evenly while keeping color through even through sweat and humidity. So, yun. So, parang... Claim din siya na long-lasting siya. Before ako mag-blot, check ulit yung nose ko. Ganun pa din. Merong, ano dyan, crease. Tanggalin natin. I always get that. Kasi laki ng ilong ko. <laughs> Nandito din. Let's start na mag-blot na. Oh my gosh! Grabe yung oil. Kalamat pa lang. Grabe na. Oh my god. And hindi naman nagbe-breakdown yung product. Ooh. In fairness, 
yung ibang foundation, pag hindi long lasting, once na nag-blot ako, makikita mo na, nagiging blotchy na. So, yun. Here's the blotting paper. <laughs> I blot. Parang okay na ulit. I don't need to touch up with powder. Okay, so an update before my final update. Nagpabawisan ako katapos ko lang maghugas ng pinggan. Kanina, gluto kami ng mom ko and sobrang pawis. But ayun, um, nakikita nyo basa yung face ko. So, punasan ko lang siya and I'm going to pat it on my face. <laughs> Basang-basa na yung tissue as you can see. But um, wala siya masyadong transfer na naganap. Maski nung kanina talagang um, nagpapat ako ng tissue sa face talaga kasi pawis na pawis. I'm going to zoom you para mas makita nyo. So, yan. Medyo parang naging cakey yung skin over at this part. And then dito medyo atong part na to. Actually, BB creams, nagla-last lang siya hanggang 5 hours and pangit na siya. But this one, it continuously impresses me. So, final update, it is now 11.16. Oops, this is how my face looks like. Kakablot ko lang nung bandang 10 o'clock ng tissue paper. And, hindi pa naman siya oily. Medyo lang. Medyo pa lang. So, as I've said kanina, nag-start na siyang maging blotchy. Parts are already breaking down. Especially this area. It has been 8 hours or more than 8 hours since I first applied this BB cream on my face. And for it to be a BB cream, honestly, I'm very impressed na nag-last siya ng ganito sa face ko. Sa brows, long-lasting kasi yung brows ko. Pero, maski long-lasting, nabubura yung brows ko. So, dito, intact pa din. Blush is still there. My bronzer and um, contour, nandyan pa din. Ang mga nagustuhan ko sa kanya is yung um, undertone. It's not pink. Yung feeling, hindi malagkit dahil hindi siya sobrang dewy. Hindi rin siya matte finish, pero meron pa healthy looking or some kind of a glow. Pwede gamitin ng mga oily skin girls like me. Again, it says here that it's lightweight. I agree. Um, lightweight siya. Hindi siya malagkit sa face. Maski matagal na. Maski pinagpawisan na ako. Mararamdaman mo na meron kang suot. Pero hindi siya malagkit. Color down niya magiging even through sweat and humidity. So for that, I would say na kind of breakdown na siya pero walang areas na wala siya sa face ko or nag vanish or ano although pinupunasan ko pero andyan pa rin naman again I bought this for only 225 you get a BB cream and a concealer in one that's really a good deal right there for me of course there are a few cons like, hindi siya pwede sa flash photography. Mukha akong multo. Talagang face ko lutang na lutang. And also, the shade selection, tatlo lang. I got a shade 2. Um, yung lightest is not very light and the darkest is not very dark. For me personally, I like this BB cream. I will continue to use it. There you have it guys. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Please give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time gorgeous. Bye!